Traverse City, the county seat of Grand Traverse County in northern Michigan. Home to sensational sights towards the true bounty of nature overlooking majestic Lake Michigan. Here, some of the NHL's brightest young prospects from select teams compete in an annual tournament with a very short list of goals. The first, gain as much experience as possible. And the second, make a positive impression with their respective organizations. Back in Greenberg, New York, Rangers prospects practice on their older brother's ice in preparation for the upcoming tournament in Traverse City. Under the microscope are top forward prospects, Danny Christo, Jesper Fast, and Oscar Lindbergh. Newly acquired 2013 draft picks, Anthony Duclair, Ryan Graves, and Mackenzie Skapsky are also on the Blue Shirts roster. Head coach Ken Jernander and assistant coach Jeff Bukaboom will help guide the Ranger prospects in Traverse City. Thursday afternoon, the Rangers draw the Carolina Hurricanes in the opener. A pregame hobby that keeps the team loose is a light soccer drill a few hours before the puck drops. Closer to game time, the players prepare their bodies just as much as their equipment. New draftee Mackenzie Skapsky gets the start between the pipes, and veteran prospect Andrew Yogan is honored to be named team captain. You know, it's an honor, of course. You know, anytime you wear a Rangers jersey and you have a letter on it, you should be uh, feel honored and. Uh, you know, it's a role I want to take on and be a leader for, you know, I'm, I've been here a couple times and these other guys are first here and hopefully I can show them the way. Nerves are evident early on Thursday as the Rangers find themselves down 2-0 halfway through the second period. The Rangers look to stage a late game comeback. However, the pretty goals of Josh Nichols, Andrew Yogan, Oscar Lindbergh are not enough as the Rangers fall 4-3 in game one. Mentally, I thought we created a lot. Um, had a ton of chances, just uh, weren't going in tonight. Uh, personally, I think uh, played pretty well. I uh, thought I had good, pretty, pretty good chemistry with the two Swedes out there. Um, they're uh, really smart players and uh, know how to move the puck, so uh, I think it's just uh, going to get better going forward. It was a little rusty in the beginning. I think everybody was just getting your legs under you, and uh, as the game went on, you know, I started to feel it, and I think the other guys did too, you know. We had a lot of chances, but we were, unfortunately we, we lost. You know, we just we want to win. You know, we're we're in a great city. You know, uh, there's a lot of it's a good experience, and you know, it's going to make it better if, if we're winning, and uh, it's going to be more of a good time for the younger kids and us as well. The loss must soon be forgotten, as the next morning already the team must shift gears and focus on game two. The Blue Shirts will take on the heavy favorite of the tournament, the Buffalo Sabres. The matchup comes with extra incentive to say the least. The Sabres' first tournament win here at Traverse City came just two short years ago. The losing opponent, the New York Rangers. Needless to say, there is no love lost between these two squads.
both sides take a little time getting reacquainted. A few minutes into the first period, after a penalized check to the boards by Buffalo's Justin Kia, Paxton LaRue comes to his teammate's defense. After a scoreless first period, the goals soon pile on. Midway through the third, the Rangers find themselves in a 5-2 deficit. Remaining steady and focused, the boys battle back to tie the game with goals coming from Danny Cristo, Oscar Lindbergh, and Josh Graves. With 23 seconds left before forcing a decisive shootout, the Sabres' Nikita Zadara puts the game winner past goaltender Jeff Malcolm. It's the Rangers' second loss in two days, leaving them with a record of 0-1-1 thus far in the tournament. Despite the defeat, a pair of key prospects shine for the Rangers. Danny Cristo netted his first goal as a blue shirt, and Oscar Lindbergh recorded an impressive hat trick, giving him four goals in two games. I think we just need a bounce back, obviously. Uh, you know, two, two games we lost by one goal today in overtime. Uh, that's hockey, you know, and you can't leave uh, games up to just a bounce. But, uh, you know, I think the boys need to come back hard, regroup tomorrow, take a day off, and uh, light skate, and come back on Sunday. It's times like these hockey players benefit with the gift of having short-term memory. Right now, rest and mental regrouping is critical, and with a day off Saturday, that's exactly what this young team will get. With a championship no longer possible here at Traverse City, the Rangers' goal is a simple one. Win a game against Columbus on Sunday. With the game scheduled later in the day, the prospects' pregame activity consists of scouting possible future opponents. The current matchup includes prospects from the Minnesota Wild and the Dallas Stars, one of which the Rangers are likely to play in their final game tomorrow. However, the Rangers must focus on their current matchup against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Fresh out of the gate, goaltender Mackenzie Skapsky lets up a pair of quick first period goals as the Rangers struggle to build their offense. Skapsky settles into his game soon after, stopping 31 of the next 33 shots he faces. However, the Rangers cannot capitalize and they fall 4-2, dropping to 0-2-1 in the tournament. This is my first year here and I'm one of the younger guys and you know what, I'm getting challenged as a goalie and, and I absolutely love it. I was talking with my roommate Jeff Malcolm there and I was telling him how I, I've never seen a, a culture group, you know, everybody's just so interactive with each other and, and uh, any, any guy from, you know, 24 years old all the way down to 18 is, is just buddy-buddy with each other and, and you know, it's, it's great to see. With Minnesota losing to Dallas on Sunday, the Wild will take on the Rangers in their last game of the tournament on Monday afternoon. Each team is frustrated, bruised, and winless, but each is confident in leaving Michigan on a high by earning a win on Monday. After a scoreless first period, the Wild make a statement with a pair of quick goals to start the second. The thought of a winless tournament dawns over the Rangers. However, a momentum shift to boost confidence is the team's only hope. Enter Jesper Fast. Without a goal in the tournament thus far, Bass scores a pair back-to-back -back and brings new life into his Ranger team. And Cristo follows with a goal to add to his stellar week. Captain Andrew Yogan seals the win with two more as the Rangers top the Wild 5-2. For New York, the competition concludes on a positive note. As for the week, collectively, it showed a story of many tales, none of which were simple or without struggle.
Traverse City remains a perfect platform for young talent to gain genuine, unmatched experience and cultivate the future generations of the NHL. Who will be the Rangers next? Ryan McDonough, Henrik Lundqvist, or Ryan Callahan? Only time and hard work will tell, and we'll be there when it does.